Hi there, welcome to video number two. In the first video, we talked about the importance of connecting thoughts, words, and actions. Uh, let's follow on from that. You need to know that high gestures are perceived as being positive. You know, it's pretty universal when your team scores a goal, up go the hands. And low gestures are perceived as being negative. So if you're coming out, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be with you. Your body is saying exactly the opposite. So between high and low, there's waist level. So when I finish the gesture, I bring my hands down to waist level. Now, if you just bring them down to waist level and they stay there, you know, without any movement at all, it looks, you know, almost robotic, you know, it doesn't look very natural at all. So you need to put some life into your hands, some air under the arms, not hair, under, air under the arms, and you need to practice uh, making these micro movements. It's not really a gesture, but the life in the hands uh, rhythm the words that are coming out of your mouth. So let me do a demonstration of that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we look at the global situation and the hands come down to waist level, one hand can go down, the other hand can go down, but I uh, advise not to put both hands down. My both hands are down when I get a question from the public. You know, somebody asks me a question, and that's a sort of neutral position. So you see something very powerful happening with high gestures, low gestures. What you haven't noticed is that I imagine my arms and hands are in water, which slows down the movement. We had a French president uh, uh, formerly before, um, Francois Hollande, travailler plus pour gagner plus, bah je vais vous le dire. He'd make a gesture and take away the gesture and it gives this sort of agitated, nervous sort of look about him. Whereas an Obama will make a, an ample gesture, leave the gesture there and bring those hands down to waist level. Now try not to close. It's not forbidden to close, but it is perceived in the subconscious mind of people sitting out there. This is, you know, it is sort of a barrier position. But from time to time I do this, I would say it shouldn't stay there because the, the temptation is to rub, is to do something like this. You know, I'm washing my hands, don't want anything to do with it. In fact, research tells us that what we're doing, we're caressing ourselves. They're there, they're not going to hurt you. You're going to get through this. So it's self-reassuring. It does not reassure the public. So you've got it. High gestures, low gestures, negative, uh, bringing the hands around waist level. And then we're going to move into inverting your gestures. If you watch TV, I've watched TV in France, I've watched TV in Germany, um, uh, all around Europe in fact, I've never seen anybody invert their gestures. This is one more trick that I use to get people on board. So if I'm saying, yeah, we've asked ourselves a question, this looks quite natural for the public, in fact I'm doing it backwards. Or I tick the box, we've done that, uh, John, we've done that. And for people, you know, just nobody sort of said, wow, that was really amazing. He's just done the technique of the inverted gesture. And um, also bearing in mind that the past for the public is over here. So that too is inverted. If you imagine a graph on the screen, January, February, March, April, May, the future for the public goes this way. Whereas for me, it goes this way. So the more the time passes, uh, the more confusion there could be in the subconscious mind of people that have been in your meeting because you've been progressing like this. So you need to progress like this for the public. I'm going to leave you here. You've got some little things to work on and I will be back with the next video in the series. Thank you once again so much for being with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Why? Because you'll get a notification when the next video is up and running. Take care. All the very best for your future presentations. Thank you. Thank you.